Hi, this is Edmund from Sports Trading AI. So this is the last part of the four-part series for number one sports trader in the world. I'll be stopping this series because I want to focus on creating more valuable content that relates to sports trading and soccer and football. Okay, without further ado, let's uh, start off okay, with our legacy. Okay. My legacy is to create the largest and profitable sports trading movement in soccer. Okay. And let's take a look at the latest updates. Okay. Basically, this is <clears throat> what we call the handicap table. Okay. So as you can see right here, there are different variations of, of handicap, you know, transitions. Let's say from plus 0 0.5 to plus 0 0.25, 0 0.25 strong odds, 0 0.25 weak odds, minus 0 0.5 weak odds, home, away, etc. Minus 0 0.25 level ball weak odds, level, minus 0 0.25 level ball to level ball strong odds away, minus 0 0.25 level strong odds home. So basically, there are a lot of different, <clears throat> different, different, scenarios okay so this is almost done so i'm doing the final edits okay into all these uh case studies so basically all the different case studies uh they will have a video that looks like this right okay in this case study we are looking at plus 0 0.5 to so that's a the the thing that was on my mind initially and then in terms of matchup it was a Okay, so basically, these are all the the various um, odds transition videos, and with the videos, there will also be like uh, takeaways, right? Like what are the things to look out for, you know? What can you learn? What are the highlights of this, uh, um, you know, for this uh, video case study? So basically, there are so many of them, right? And this will once I I finish doing the the uh, final edit, uh, I'll release the this uh, handicap table uh, case studies uh, within the next uh, within the next few days. Uh, okay. So what happened is uh, those students that actually send me the uh, testimonials will get the um, get the link to download this uh, handicap table uh, case studies for free, okay, within the next few days. Uh, okay, those students that don't, doesn't send me the, send me the uh, testimonials, no worries, uh, you can, you will still get the link, but then you'll be probably getting it uh, when we do the official launch, probably somewhere uh, end of the month or beginning of uh, September. Okay, because I want to, uh, give some some rewards to students who actually uh, find value in our system, okay? And it's it does, it's not really that hard to just uh, send in your resume, uh, send in your testimonials, all right? How the course has has actually helped you in, in your trading, etc. Okay, without further ado, let's uh, go back to the this uh, case study, yeah. Okay, so basically, I'll just quickly run through uh, some of the trading trading um, records, you know. Uh, 28 April, okay, part 1, 6 wins, 2 losses. Part 2, 11 wins, uh, 2 losses. You know, 7 wins in a row, okay. And then 11 wins, uh, 1 loss, okay. 9 May, 11 May, 20 wins, 2 losses, uh, okay. There are 2 screens, okay. This is a continuation. Okay. Okay, part three, twenty wins, two losses. Fifteen May, part one, six wins, two losses. Part two, six wins, one loss. Part <coughs> sixteen May, uh, eight wins, two losses. Okay. Right. Part one, uh, eighteen May, eight wins, three losses. Part two, ten wins, one loss. Part three, eight wins, three losses. Just those three alone is. You're talking about 20 over wins, huh? With less than five, five loss, losses. 
19 May, part 1, 13 wins, 2 losses. Okay, so basically, once you're able to to read all these odds, uh, these are all achievable, okay? You have to believe in yourself. Okay, and all the strategies that are taught is actually strategies that I use myself, okay? And a lot of my students have, have actually used the same um, strategies and they've profited uh, consistently, okay? Okay. The most important thing is you need to spend some time to actually read the odds, get familiarized with all the different odd transitions because it can get confusing uh, certain times uh, because you have home, away, strong odds, weak odds, you know, transition from different types of um, uh, odds situation. But the, the good news is when you see the, the handicap table case studies, you'll be more apparent because Every scenario, whether it's level to level half, level half to level ball, they will actually give you guidance on what are the things uh, that you should be doing. And on top of that, there are a lot of uh, interesting in-play uh, suggestions and in-play in strategies that can actually uh, help you create uh, more betting opportunities. right? Because as we know, every day they are probably four to five uh, banker bets. Uh. But if you were to just rely on the banker bets, you know, you only have four, four to five transactions a day, right? And then probably the thing, the uh, trading duration might stretch over like 20 hours, you know, six, uh, maybe 12 to 16 hours, and then there are only five, five opportunities. But there are other ways to find good, um, high winning percentage uh, opportunities, uh where you can also, and then there are things like free shots, whereby you can actually place a bet on certain scenarios, level ball at like a 95% winning chance, you know. Um, chance of losing is 5%, all right? Chance of winning maybe 60%, but then there's 30%, uh, you get a push, you know. So those are uh, what we call free shots, okay? Those, if you, every day you just need to find like two, three, free shot games, you know, and sometimes certain certain matches that you're pretty confident you can bet, like double standard bet or triple standard bet, that kind of thing, that can be sub quite substantial in trying to help you uh, build up a, like a 10-win streak, um, you know, 10-game winning streak, etc. Okay, so 31st May, 12 wins in a row, 7 June, okay, 6 wins, 1 loss, part 2, A, okay, because there are two screens, uh, 13 wins, 2 losses. Okay, 2B, 13 wins, 2 losses. Uh. Just need to see the serial number, just follow accordingly. Uh. Okay. Okay, 10 June, 6 wins, 1 loss. 11 June, uh, part 1, 5 wins in a row. Part 2, 6 wins, 1 loss. Part 1, uh, for 12 June, 9 wins, uh, 2 losses. Part 2, 11 wins, 2 losses. Okay, 18 June, part 1, 5 wins, 1 loss. Part 2, 6 wins, 1 loss. 20th June, um, part 1, 9 wins, 2 losses. Part 2, 6 wins, 2 losses. Okay, 21st June, 9 wins, 2 losses. So basically, to, <clears throat> to get like 5 wins in a row, 6 wins in a row, 7 wins, 7 wins, 1 loss, they're counting like 70-80%. If you can maintain it consistently, you just need to have a couple of these games, you know, this set of games, and then you can easily have a overall plus 10, you know, plus 10 uh, match win for that day. La. But basically, our main priority is to make sure that we are profitable for the day. It doesn't doesn't matter if you if you overall you win one bet, two bet, three bets or whatever. So you need to actually put in uh, trading discipline, sound capital management, right? And then try to read more into trading psychology and control your emotions, right? The most important thing is what we are trying to do is we try to minimize the losses. So when we are on a good run, we can actually win like, you know, sometimes one day you might win like 15, 15 bets, that kind of thing. That is enough to actually cover the quota for the whole week. Lah. Okay. 23rd June, 9 wins, 2 losses. Okay. 8 wins, 1 loss. I don't trade every single day. Like weekends, I tend not to trade that often. Okay. Part 3, 10 wins, 3 losses. Okay. Part 4, 8 wins, 1 loss. 
this all in all is around like close to 30 win huh? 30 match win okay uh 24th june part one five wins one loss part two eight wins in a row okay part three 11 wins two losses this is also another like a 20 win streak lah, you know uh minus of like maybe uh four to five losses that kind of thing at least you maintain at least a 75 percent kind of uh, overall hit rate huh? okay 25 june 25th june uh, seven wins in a row 26 june part one six wins in a row Seven wins, two losses. Like I mentioned, you see, all those wins in a row, this is not fluke. You need to know how to read the odds, right? In order to actually achieve all this. These are all not fluke, right? Part two, seven wins, two losses. Part three, nine wins in a row, you see? Some of the bets is under bets. Some are like uh, handicap, you know, etc. Part four, six wins, two losses. Okay, like like imagine, uh, just now you see a lot of all those under bets, right? Okay, under bets, you need to be careful. Uh. So basically, um, most of the matches goes over, uh, but certain match you see when the odds is very, very heavy, it becomes under. Uh. So after you go through the course, you'll be able to understand, okay, what are the matches you can bet under, what are the matches that you can eat handicap, because uh, 70% of the time, uh, the team that actually offers the handicap will beat the handicap. That means when you're eating ball, only 30% of the time you win. So within the course, I'll teach you how to identify what are the matches that you can actually eat handicap. Okay, part 4, 6 wins, 2 losses. Okay, 27 June, 5 wins, 1 loss. Uh, 28 June, part 1, 7 wins, 2 losses. Part 2, 7 wins, 1 loss. Part 3, 5 wins, 2 losses. Part 4, 5 wins in a row. Okay, part 5, 9 wins in a row. You know, so because sometimes when you're having a good run, you just continue, lah, you know. But typically when I have like 5 losses, and if I'm not having a lot of profit, let's say overall, um, I did something like maybe I bet 30 matches, I won 8, I lost 5. Overall plus three, right? So maybe after deduct um the water money, I might only win like two points, something bad or whatever. You know, this kind of situation when the I only win one or two bets, but then I really encountered like five losses, I would probably stop for the day. Lah. So that is part of trading discipline, you know. Because every single day there are soccer matches. So you need to be, need to be disciplined. So certain days are there are matches that you're more familiar with, let's say like uh English League, English Championship or whatever, champ Champions League, that kind of thing. So typically all those matches will start from Tuesday to Thursday, right? Uh so Monday will be a lot of all those boring miscellaneous matches, uh, you know. So if you are not in so into all those matches, you can actually rest for the day la, and then treat on Tuesday to Thursday. It doesn't mean that you need to trade every single day, only because the whole idea is gamblers will always lose money, right? Because they are trading this as a as a gamble. They are flipping coins, you know. So we don't leave anything to luck, okay? So basically, we trade when we feel um hundred percent, you know, when we're feeling well, when we are crawling, you know, having a bad day or whatever. We typically we don't touch. Right, we don't we don't do any form of trading because imagine if you were to you know go emotional on on some of the losses. Most of the people what they do is they double up, triple up, or whatever, and then just make things worse, lah, Okay, so not necessary every day you have positive uh, trading days. So even though let's say you you bet eleven matches, right, six match, uh, maybe six match win, five match you lost. Right, so after deducting uh water money, you might overall lose one bet, etc. So this kind of situation probably is good to rest as well because by having like five losses, it shows that you you're not sharp enough. Okay, all you need to do is when you're sh you wait for the time when you're really sharp, you know, and then you if you're having a good streak, you can keep on keep on trading la, right until you, you accumulate the five losses. La. Right, so if you can go like twenty wins without any losses, 
good for you. Okay. Uh, 30th June, part 1, 7 wins, 1 loss. Part 2, 5 wins, 1 loss. Part 3, 5 wins, 1 loss. Part 4, 5 wins in a row. So this is almost another 20 wins in a row. Okay, so right now, I've got a book called Breaking the Soccer Code which I'm actually selling for $199. US uh. So basically, you can actually uh, purchase it on the website. Uh. Okay. If you want to find out more about the track record, you can actually visit uh, this website and you can get all the different track records. Okay. And then, you know, the handicap table is already done up. I'm doing the final final uh, editing for some of the different case studies actually is the videos are all done uh, so i'm actually writing the uh doing the summary of the the takeaways and all those things so it should be completed within the next um two days lah. definitely lah. okay so those guys uh if you want to find out more about the course uh you should actually sign up for the course right now because once i do an official launch probably um on the second or third week of this month or towards the end of the month, the moment I officially launch the handicap table, the pricing of the course will be 1188, okay? Sing dollar, uh, 1188. And it will no longer be 888 sing dollars, uh, okay? I don't want anybody to come to this, uh, you know, give comments saying, that, hey, how come the, the price, you know? went up from this amount to another amount, okay? Everything is all time sensitive, you know? The worldwide, there's this inflation and all those things. So things always fluctuate. But trust me, the handicap table is my life's work, okay? With that, it's much more easier. I can tell you, like, those guys who have never ever uh, placed any bets in their lifetime, right? So if they were to have some basic understanding of the handicap. Once they fin quickly finish the eight-hour course, and then um, without even going through the 500 over case study videos in depth, they just need to see the handicap table transition, the odd transition. That it is enough to, to give you a very uh, holistic view on what are the strategies uh, what are the types of bets you can actually place that will give you a 70% or higher chance of winning rate, okay? So that, you have to take advantage of this uh, opportunity, okay? So once I officially launch the handicap table, it will be gone forever, okay? Like I mentioned, you can see all the different, different transitions, huh? quarter ball to level ball, level ball to... Minus 0 0.25, minus 0 0.75 to 0 0.5, weak odds, strong odds, you know. Minus 1.25 to 1.5, you know. All these different, different transitions is very, very tricky. But once you see enough of these um, uh, case studies, okay, straight away when you, you, you encounter this kind of situation, you know what are the, the type of bets to place, whether it's over, under, in play, you know. Uh, when the team scores go, then you accept the handicap, etc. All these strategies always being taught in all these case studies. And after I officially launched the handicap table, this will be the, the beta version, uh, beta version one, okay? On and off, every six months to a year, I'll be adding more case studies within the same kind of odd transition so that it, over time it gets even more comprehensive, okay? So once this is done for the month of um, September, my job is done. And then for October, we are trying to see whether we can get the first phase of the checkout exam uh, done up, huh? okay? The first first level checkout exam. And then gradually, I'll, I'll increase the levels in terms of difficulty. So at least even before you trade real money, you can actually assess the checkout exam to see how good you are while trading okay so in order to find out more about the <clears throat> the course the SEA STA Academy you can just visit the website www.sportstradingai.com slash store all the details are there all the videos are there okay so 
take advantage of this uh this uh, offer right now okay for more information feel free to get in touch with me on whatsapp you know send me any email and every sunday uh i'll be trying to create uh some videos regularly but i need your help to tell me okay what are the type of content uh content that you like to learn okay i'll do my best to actually create some some of these contents, uh, and I'll do a regular upload every Sunday. Other than the the usual, uh, banker bet videos or some of the trading results, etc. Okay, that's all for this uh, this uh, final update.